Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly and today I'm gonna to be doing some unboxing of some freebies that we got from our electric company. So we got this big box here and I'm I, when I saw it on the porch, I thought, you know, it was something free for review for me. And when I looked, it actually had my husband's name on it. And I said to myself, what, he's getting a package? <laughs> Cause you know, I'm the one that gets all the packages, not him. But he opened it up and it actually was just free products from our electric company. So that was pretty cool. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff they sent us. And I'm going to be talking a little bit, um, just some chit chat. As most of you know, uh, you know, I did have a couple of kids as a teenager. I am right now, oh my God, how old am I? 54, I think. 54. And uh, I had my first baby when I was 15. And... Um, so I'm just going to show some of this stuff to you. So we, um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my first baby and what happened. So I was 14 and he was 17 and I had met him because I actually was going to school with his younger brother. We were in the seventh grade uh, when I actually met him. And we started like actually seeing each other when I was uh, 15. No, I was 14. I got to get my story straight here. So I was, what, um, 13 when I met him because I was, you know, uh, in school with his younger brother. And then I was 14 when we started, you know, dating. He was my first real boyfriend. Oh, a little shower head. That's cool. And uh, got really serious really quick. According to him, I was his first real serious girlfriend as well. So, just got, thought I was in love. I really seriously thought that I was in love. And, you know, we ended up sleeping together and it wasn't just one time. It was a relationship, uh, very immature, I know, um, spontaneous. Uh, we weren't using any protection at all. We were just kids. And, uh, you know, one thing led to another, and I did, of course, end up getting pregnant. I was 14 years old. On my eighth grade graduation, I was walking, you know, we we were there, my, my boyfriend met us there, uh, you know, with his family, you know, whatever. And I told him, my boyfriend at the time, I said, I'm pregnant. And, you know, of course, we were both shocked. He's like, are you sure? Blah, blah, blah. Well, of course, my parents didn't know. My parents didn't know for months and months and months. I was about six months uh, along, terrified, okay, completely terrified. Of course, I was gaining weight. And, uh, you know, I just couldn't tell my parents. Pipe wrap, insulation tape, interesting. So all of this is from the electric company. Everything I'm showing you, light bulbs, insulation tape, shower heads, weather stripping, that's what this was. And, uh, so I could not tell my parents and I was, uh, let me turn on my ring lights, not even on, but I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I felt like I was just all by myself and alone, but you know, I was still living at home. My sister was still there. My other sister was grown and out of the house by then. So it was my brother. I think he was already out of the house. So it was just me and my sister and my parents. And, uh, then I guess I don't even remember exactly how it happened, but my sister, I told her, just tell them, just tell them. Cause I mean, I couldn't tell them myself, my parents, I could not tell them. So I was about six months, almost seven months along. And my sister told my parents and it was just, they were very supportive. Of course they were shocked. I was raised, um, strict Catholic. I don't even know what these are maybe for under your door or something. Um, so they were very shocked to say the least, 
And, you know, my mother said later on in life, um, she did say that she kind of suspected it because, you know, I mean, although I was young, I was gaining weight, but that wasn't the big thing. The big thing was I wasn't asking her for my monthly, you know, maxi pads or, you know, some of you may use tampons, but I used maxi pads. And, and uh, so she was, you know, I, I never asked her for any and for months and months. And, you know, she, I guess, suspected something, but she didn't say this to me until much later on in life. And so she, uh, you know, they were taken by surprise. Um, my father, I really don't know what this is. I'm sure my husband knows, but I got two of those. So... My father, uh, you know, of course, went to his insurance company, you know, at work, and they didn't insure me uh, because I was his child, but they didn't insure children's pregnancies. So, you know, they would insure my mom's pregnancies, but no, not, not the children. So, uh, you know, my parents actually had to pay out of pocket completely out of pocket and me being so young I didn't really realize how much that cost now we're looking back to 1985 so obviously it's pro you know I would assume it's not as expensive now is it or not ex as expensive then as it was now but it's all relative right because you know the wages were uh were not as high then and, and you know things were quite different so I do think um, that it had to have been thousands of dollars. I, I just can't even, I, I can't even imagine. I, I just can't. So everything was paid for them. Um, all my doctor's appointments, um, all the, you know, the, the lab work. And uh, my dog is barking at me. I don't know what this is, this little thing. This is the last thing in the box. So if you... Um, Contact your electric company. They might uh, send you some freebies out because I think all of this stuff is to reduce your your electric costs. And my dog is barking at me. So hold on just a moment. Okay, she just wanted to be picked up and brought onto the bed so she can chew on this box. So I'm gonna start putting stuff back in the box. So where was I? I don't even know. But my, uh, you know, my parents had to pay for all that all my lab work, doctor's appointments. And then, uh, of course, we had to go and buy maternity clothes because by then I was already unbuttoning my jeans. And I mean, you know, I was just a little girl and, uh, you know, gaining weight. And so I didn't really even start looking like a pregnancy until it seems like almost immediately when I told my parents that I was pregnant, that's when I started to like really show. So, you know, we went and we got maternity clothes. So they paid for all that. And um, the crib, the nursery, we had already had a four bedroom home. Well, not me, my parents did. And so we had uh, two extra rooms. Um, so we were able to set up a nursery in one of the rooms and all on their expense everything everything um we did have a baby shower and uh, of course that helped you know i got some things from people uh diapers and stuff and and i wasn't still in i was still in high school you guys um you know by the time i had the baby i was a freshman in high school so i was 14 when i got pregnant eighth grade graduation i must have been three or four months along told my boyfriend but by the time that uh, i actually had the baby I was uh, 15 and a freshman in high school. So I did complete high school. My parents had pulled me out of the regular high school and put me in a teen mother high school. I don't know if they have those anymore or if it's all just, uh, you know, integrated. But in California, where I lived, uh, they had what they call these teen mother programs. So I went to school with about 15 other teen moms. And I was one of the two youngest there. So I was 15, barely. And the girl that was younger than me was 12. 
she was 12 years old. I mean, I look back and I just can't even believe it. And, uh, but you know, I was one of the two youngest. And so the birth, the birth came along. My mother wasn't there. She was actually out with her brother out of town with her brother. It was a prearranged vacation trip. I don't, I don't even remember honestly what it was. But my mother wasn't there. It was just me and my father. Um, my older sister that was living with us at the time had since moved out. So it was just me and my dad. So my dad rushes me to the hospital. We get pulled over because he's speeding and he jumps out of the car. And you know, you don't ever jump out of the car when a cop pulls you over. We all know that you do not jump out of a car. And uh, that's the first thing that the police said was don't ever jump out of the car when a police pulls you over. And I remember that to this day, because, you know, when you see those crime shows and everything, you see these people and, you know, you stay in your car and wait for the policeman to come to your door. But anyway, nothing came out of that. Thank God. My dad just explained to him, my daughter's in labor and, we're, you know, anyway, we, he, he, I don't remember if he got a ticket or a warning. I, I don't even remember. I was in labor. So we went to the hospital and uh, the, the pains were so far from each other that they actually sent us home. So we went back home and uh, took some pictures, yeah, of me, you know, being pregnant, not, I've, okay, let's not make this gross. I, they were, I was fully clothed. My dad's no pervert. Uh, you know, I just pictures of my, um, me and my maternity clothes with my belly because it was the last day of being pregnant, right? So it was kind of exciting. Um, for both of us, for my dad and for me, um, my boyfriend. Now you're wondering where was he in all this? Well, during the pregnancy, we broke up, got back together, broke up, got back together, broke up, got back together. So it was kind of a immature relationship. I mean, we were young kids. Uh, you know, he didn't drive. I was too young to drive. And uh, eventually, though, he did get his license. So I hadn't seen him for, geez, I don't even remember, um, two or three months. And then I went into labor and my sister, uh, I think it was my sister. If, if my sister's watching this and it wasn't you, please let me know. But and neither one of my parents called my, my ex-boyfriend. They, they can't, they couldn't stand him. Needless to say, I mean, they just couldn't stand him. But my sister did end up calling him. And uh, he tried to make it to the hospital and um, he finally did make it. He was there during the, uh, the delivery. So he was there to help me through my contractions and through the delivery. And, you know, he was just a kid, you guys. We were just kids. But he actually was there, uh, surprisingly. And I was in labor for three days. Okay. I was just a little girl. I know I keep saying that, but I had just turned 15 in December. My son was born in February. So two months after I turned 15, I had my first baby. Okay, so I don't know if it was my body just wasn't ready. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I was in labor and uh, for three days, finally my doctor, which was a family physician, how to go get an OBGYN or, you know, an OB doctor to come in and see what was going on. So the OB came in. Of course, that was another thousand dollars for my parents had to pay uh, just for that OB to come in, break my water. And then I had my baby like a couple hours later. But um, that's all that was needed was for them to break my water. And uh, so yeah, that was another huge cost. Now, because I was not insured, I had no medication, you guys, none. That whole birth and everything was just totally the worst thing that could have happened to anybody in the world. And I know a lot of women out there have huge, 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 hard pregnancies and, and deliveries. And 
I'm just saying I was only 15 and I had to go through that and it was it was so so bad uh but guess what that didn't stop me because I got pregnant again and this was not with my boyfriend because we broke up so I actually had another baby 18 months later I had a little girl so my first was a little boy 18 months later I had a little girl and let me tell you I I grew up fast my dog is barking at me again she keeps jumping off the bed because she hears a noise and then she barks at me to get back on the bed because she can't jump up here so let me get her real quick so yeah so then I had um you know I had gotten pregnant again and of course my parents were there again for me still and took care of all the finances took care of you know all the all the money and we already had all the things for a baby and uh you know um and i was still going to school i was still going to my little teen mother pregnant school and it's funny because it's not funny but the very following year you know i went back to the teen mother school in my sophomore year because i had gotten pregnant again at the teen mother school by the way you can bring your babies with you so it wasn't just all pregnant women or pregnant girls. It was the girls and their babies. So, you know, I went back the following year and, uh, you know, it was all new girls except for one other girl. And it was the 12 year old. She was also pregnant again. That little girl and me were both there again. And uh, anyway, I don't know whatever happened to her. I don't. I remember her kids' names. Uh, I don't remember her name, but I remember she had named her boys Jahi and Rahi. So, you know, I don't know what happened to them. I mean, those kids have got to be in their late 30s, just like my two are in their late 30s. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know if she... Because I don't know if she had any family support. You know, a lot of these girls that I went to school with did not. They didn't have the family support that I did. Uh, you know, I struggled um, to get out on my own with my two kids for years and years and years. Finally, I was able to do it once I got my, my bachelor's degree. And uh, still, it was a struggle. Um, my parents had moved to Michigan and I was actually renting their house in California with my two kids. I, and uh, so my rent was only $600 a month and I had a nice big four bedroom home. And it was, it was very, very nice. Um, so I was doing that for a while. And, um, but I had a bachelor's degree. I ended up uh, continuing my college and getting my master's degree. But by the time I got my master's degree, my kids were already grown. And uh, in fact, by the time I got my master's degree, I had gotten married, you know, to the man I marry now and had um, two more kids. So I uh, didn't even get my master's degree until, you know, I was in my mid thirties. I was like 35 or 36 when I ended up getting that. And my other two kids were already grown. So, but, um, yeah, that was just a little bit, you know, I, I thank God for my parents every day. My father um, has since passed away. He passed away two years ago on December 23rd. So that's very, very hard. I mean, my parents were together. I think it would have been like their 60th wedding anniversary or something, maybe even longer, uh, just last September. So, you know, my mom is, is having a real hard time. I love her to death and she lives still in California. I'm in Illinois now, so I can't be there for her, but I, uh, you know, I thank God for them every day that they were there to help me financially. Um, you know, they were there to help me emotionally and not a lot of girls, uh, had that. And I, and I know I was lucky, um, very lucky. So, but yeah, I, I don't know. Um, that's just a little background on teenage pregnancy. Would I recommend teenage pregnancy to anyone ever? No, no, it was hard. 
when I was on my own with my kids, yes, I had my bachelor's degree, but I was still making very minimal money. I had to pay for childcare. I was on food stamps uh, for a while there before I got my bachelor's degree. The state of California, now I'm going back in time again. Sorry, I don't mean to skip around. But when I first tried to get on my own with my kids, I did not have a college degree. And the state of California, in order to be on welfare, at that time, I don't know if it's different now, but on that time, you had to either work 20 hours a week, at least, I think that was it, or go to college full-time. I chose college. So I was getting welfare, food stamps, and going to college and racking up student loans like you would not believe. Oh my gosh. Right now, um, you know, since I, you know, all those years of college raising two kids on my own, I, you know, I've racked up $89,000 worth of student loan debt, you guys. There's no way in my whole lifetime I'm ever gonna pay that back. I've been paying it back since 1996, I believe. Yeah, 1996. I've been paying back student loan debt. And it's still because of the interest. Uh, it's up to $89,000 right now. That is just crazy. Uh, you know, I'm scared for my two kids right now. My two older kids, by the way, I'm going to tell you right now, being a single mom, love them to death, did everything I could. And my older daughter who has disabilities, um, she says I was a good mom and I tried and, and I, I, I think I was the best I could be. I never left them. They came with me everywhere. They even went to some college classes with me because I couldn't find childcare. I mean, I did everything I possibly could. But my older son made some really poor choices in adulthood. And uh, and uh, that's all I'm going to say. And then my daughter, um, she has disabilities uh, that she didn't have when she was younger. Uh, it all came out when she was about 21 years old. She started having um hallucinations and uh, you know they say the onset of schizophrenia starts in their early 20s she was not actually diagnosed with schizophrenia she was diagnosed with diagnosed with the i think it's called schizoaffective disorder so she's had that since her mid-20s and so she's been on medication and yeah she is she is disabled um but uh my two kids that I have right now, um, I'm really worried about uh, them with student loan debt. I almost, I want them to go to college and be successful in life, but my God, student loan debt is crazy, you guys. They have got to do something. I mean, I can't in my whole lifetime now, whatever's left with my lifetime now, there's no way I can afford to pay it back. There's no way. Right now, they're in deferment, meaning that I am not making any payments, but guess what? the interest is still accumulating. And that's kind of what happened because when I first started with student loans, I think when I was done, let's say when I was done, I think my total with my master's degree and everything was about $60,000. But over the years of being in deferment, um, being on income-based repayment plans, what happens is your interest keeps going up and up and up and up to where now it's almost $90,000. Whereas I only borrowed about 60. So, I mean, 60 is still a lot, but you know, I was single. I was by myself with two kids trying to raise. So a lot of that student loans that I borrowed went to paying rent and you know, putting food on the table for myself and my two kids. Cause you know, I didn't live with my parents forever. You guys, I moved out as soon as I could. And, uh, you know, I struggled. I, I went back and forth to my parents and back out to my parents to back out to my parents to back out. 
for a long time trying to make it on my own with my kids. And, um, you know, so during that time I was going to college and it was just very, very hard. I would not recommend teenage pregnancy to anyone. I know people don't purposely get pregnant as a teenager. At least I would hope not. I guess sometimes people do, but yeah, it was a, it was a rough road. It's a very rough road. So anyway, I don't know what started all that. Um, I hope you contact your electric company and see if you can get a free box of goodies because I think um, most electric companies give them out to conserve energy. So, uh, and um, I don't know, I just kind of spilled out all of this stuff. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.